Thank you for joining us here again on Pray TV. We're very grateful for you and always are delighted to be able to share what the Holy Spirit is putting into our hearts. I'm here alone today. Charlotte is not with me this day, but we are going to have a wonderful time as we look continuing on during this week of prayer and fasting at the portion of Scripture that is taken from John 17. As I said, John 17 has been our theme throughout the last three days, and we're looking today at the 24 through 26 verses, and again, reading from the New King James Version of the Bible. It is beautiful to read this and to be able to be nurtured by it. And it says, Father, I desire that they also whom you gave me may be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory which you have given me. For you loved me before the foundations of the world. O righteous Father, the world has not known you, but I have known you. And these have known that you have sent me. And I have declared to them your name and will declare it that the love with which you loved me may be in them and I in them. Just think about this. The love of the Father the love that passes all understanding, the love that sent Jesus from the very presence and side of God to earth to come to sacrifice his life, to lay himself down for all of mankind, all of our sinful state. This is the miracle that all creation was set in order to produce the interface between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. He is the propitiation, the covering. He is the one, the only one, that we can really have redemption by. And so we are just delighted to be able to Continue this week of prayer and fasting with this kind of a focus and this kind of a, a, a clear look. Ask yourself this. Do I want to have the love in me for others that God the Father had for Jesus and Jesus modeled and demonstrated and spoke spoke it into his disciples. Do I want to live in that? And if your answer is yes, then it will take some pruning. It will take some work of the Holy Spirit. It will take some formation. It will maybe take years to be able to be in a place where the workmanship of God's nature has been so crafted into your soul that it carries forth his life everywhere. We're not perfect yet. We know that we are still bound to this earth in space and time, living in bodies of flesh that have pain and have other kinds of things that push out in their promptings and make us want to look at those things and react kind of out of the, the sense of pain or fear or any of those kinds of, of elements that would tend, do tend, to dictate to us. But we can have the promises of God, and we're going to pray to that end. We're going to look at this scripture one more time. And again, reading from John 17, verses 24 through 26, looking at it in the New King James Version of the Bible. And it says, Father, I desire that they also, whom you gave me, may be with me where I am that they may behold my glory which you have given me, for you loved me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, the world has not known you, but I have known you, and these have known that you sent me, 
and I have declared to them your name and will declare it that the love with which you loved me may be in them and I in them. Let's look to the Lord in prayer here today. Heavenly Father, we just bring ourselves collectively into prayer, literally from around the world, joining hearts and joining our souls in just a beautiful choir of prayer, rising up before the very throne of God. Lord, you prophesied and you spoke of this in your word that there would be this ascending of the prayers of the saints. And Lord, we are a part of that down through history. There have been many, many generations of people who have been praying, but we in this generation get to do it together because you have given us these kinds of mechanisms so that we can pray in harmony, we can pray in unity, we can set our souls to knowing you and loving you. And so Holy Spirit, we pray right now, cause your anointing to rest once again upon each and every heart of each and every person who's praying each and every prayer. Lord, it is like our little candle and that smoke and incense arising up out of that creates this perfume before your throne. And Father, I pray that you'll give to us the ability to harness our hearts in unity. Lord, we're not looking for uniformity. We know you have great diversity. But Father, we know that you want our hearts to be knit, to be purposeful. And so Lord, we pray that you will set your purpose in us to pray until we see your glory come down. Lord, you have prophesied in your prayer over your disciples and it was recorded and we've been in it for the last three days. Thank you, Father. You want to accomplish your purposes in your people and we just pray, Lord, that you will cause our hearts to know and live in that love that you experienced from your Father, God, and you gave generously to us as your disciples. Even though we are generations away from your time on earth, we receive your great love even this hour, even this day. And now, Lord, I pray that you would surround our hearts, garrison our souls, strengthen us to be able to make your love known. Father, we want to be able to love the unlovely, I pray, Lord, that you will help us. Lord, it is going to take your grace for us to be able to walk in that love and to walk your love into the place that it deserves in the hearts and the lives of many others. Father, we thank you. Strengthen us as we pray this very day. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.